The Watch Wolves have spoken truly, my brothers and sisters. Another of the Dalish come to put us in our place. Come to make us pay for our attack. You speak to Swift Runner. I lead my cursed brothers and sisters. Turn back now. Go back to the Dalish and tell them that you have failed. Tell them we will gladly watch them suffer the same curse we have suffered for too long. We will watch them pay. We are. I regret only that we did not inflict every single one of them with the curse that night. Was it not Safrian who sent you? <sighs> he wishes only our destruction, never to talk. <sighs> we have never met he and I. He would not survive the experience. I swear it. You know nothing, do you? Nothing of us, and even less of those you serve. You are a fool, and we are done talking. Run from the forest while you can. Run to the Dalish, and tell them they are doomed. Well, I will not risk throwing my people at you like unthinking brutes. Come, brothers and sisters, let us retreat. The forest has eyes of its own, and it will deal with intruders as it always has. What? Who, ah, uh, who comes? We were sent to find Witherfang, bring his heart, attacked, I... And there, Natishan Lefalan. Our scouts saw you approaching and tell me you carry the body of one of our hunters with you. Ah, Dagon. He is wounded, but I think he will live. I'm glad we were able to help him. Thank the Maker we returned to the Dalish in time. He must have watched over this man. Or perhaps his own gods were watching out for him. And perhaps they just know the Maker by another name. Believe what you wish. It seems to me that they should be thanking the Grey Warden more than some absent god. But who am I to judge? Ma Sirenas, your help is appreciated. Come, Lethaline. Let us take Dagon to the Keeper, and quickly. If we are lucky, we may still save him. Hmm. What manner of beast be thee that comes before this elder tree? I remember thee. Long ago, the elves roamed free, their numbers few and passing fast. 
until one eve, we saw their last. Allow me a moment to welcome thee. I am called the Grand Oak, sometimes the Elder Tree. It rhymes? Tis a rhyming tree. One can only imagine what manner of spirit is involved here. And unless thou thinkst it far too soon, might I ask of thee a boon? I do not know. Why dost thou not? Thy words seem plain, a mundane lot. Perhaps a poet's soul's in me. Does that make me a poet tree? <laughs> It was but a simple jest, a jibe to entertain my guest. I can only speak to what a tree may see. It may not help you, but it is enough for me. That is but a human name, one placed upon this land. Their claim, a claim they stole from ancient elves, whom they first killed, and were killed themselves. It was the elves who planted the seeds, raised the forest, saw to its needs. But that was all so long ago, that they are dead is all I know. A great war, perhaps, I cannot tell. I was not here when it befell. But many deaths here, all the same. And with the deaths, the spirits came. The spirits entered corpse and tree, and most went mad. As thou canst see, the forest had a spirit of its own from back when its first seeds were sown. Perhaps she died of grief that day, or perhaps she simply went away. Or perhaps the wares are the ones to blame, for the day she left is the day they came. I speak as clearly as I see. Plainer than this, I cannot be. In the center of the forest, the wares do dwell. Or so go the tales my fellows tell. But they cannot be followed there. The forest doth protect the wares. Perhaps wares use magic to command the trees. All I know is they move as they please. Perform the boon as I ask, and I shall reward thee for the task. I have but one desire, to solve a matter very dire. As I slept one early morn, a thief did come and steal an acorn. All I have is my being, my seed. Without it, I am alone indeed. I cannot go and seek it out. Yet I shall die if left without. Go to the east to find this man. I shall await. Do what thou can. Wait. We are back at the beginning of the path. The forest, it seems, does not wish us to reach wherever the path leads. How protective. 
questions, questions, always questions. They say it was questions that made me mad. Will you do the same for you? Ask a question and you'll get a question, but give an answer and you'll receive the same. Oh, I do so love to trade. No, that is not a question. And if it be an answer, it be an answer to a question I've not asked. Have you no sense for the rules? Be cautious. This is no ordinary madman. He has magic. I can sense it. Powerful magic. No fair bringing mages to a guessing game. Will you play by the rules or not? I think it is your turn to ask, is it not? Yes, I live here, and it's not as bad as you think. Where else to go, eh? I must stay away from them. They are out there and looking. They will take your secrets, oh yes, all of them, and leave you empty. But that's all I have to say about that. An answer for an answer. There you go. May I? Oh yes, I think I might. Now, what shall be the first? Oh yes, what is your name? Aha, uh -huh. so you claim. They sent you, didn't they? But you're too tricky, and you're trying to fool me. Well, I'm on to you, just so you know. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away, I dare you. Ah, suddenly it all becomes clear. You here, that talking tree there, it all makes sense now. As a matter of fact, yes. I do have that tree's acorn. I stole it, and it was easy. Silly tree should have locked it up tighter. If you want it, you'll have to trade me for it. And nothing from that silly tree. No leaves or branches or anything. But that's all I have to say about that. An answer for an answer. There you go. May I? Oh yes, I think I might. Hmm. Where were you born? So you say, fiendishly clever of you to maintain this facade for so long, but I will see through it yet. Mark my words. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away, I dare you. Let's see. I'll trade you an acorn, a helmet I found, or a book I finished reading years ago, provided you have something interesting in return. Oh, and what do you have to trade for the acorn? A book, eh? What sort of book? Elven history, you say? Hmm, that might make for good reading by the moonlight. Or it'll be better than using leaves, give me that. There, now that's done. What else have you got on your agenda, hmm? Oh, I see. You're going to report to them now, are you? Fine. Goodbye. My acorn is still gone, so I pray to thee. Hast thou any news for me? My joy soars to new heights indeed. I am reunited with my sea. As I promised, here it be. I hope its magic pleases thee. Keep this branch of mine with thee, and pass throughout the forest free. I wish thee well, my mortal friend. Thou brought my sadness to an end. May the sunlight find you, thy days be long, thy winter's kind. And thy roots be strong. The forest has not been vigilant enough. Still you come. You are stronger than we could have anticipated. 
the Dalish chose well. But you do not belong here, outsider. Leave this place. You came even though we warned you not to. You are as treacherous as the Dalish. We will not allow harm to come to Witherfang. Nothing about him, and I am not about to enlighten you. You are an intruder in our home. You come to kill, as all your kind do. We have learned this lesson well. Here, Witherfang protects us. Here we learn our names and our beloved. We will defend Witherfang and this place with our lives. Fall back to the ruins! Protect the lady!